Okay, in the last video, we downloaded and installed our text editor in our terminal. In this video, we wanna download and install Node itself. So head over to Google and just type in Node or Node.js. And the first thing that pops up is gonna be after the ads, is gonna be nodejs.org. So go ahead and click on this and you'll notice right away, it goes straight to the download page. There's nothing else here to see. And so the question is, which one of these do we want? Now it knows that I'm on Windows 64, so it's giving me the Windows versions. If you're on Mac or Linux, you'll see a Mac or Linux version. Now, this is the latest, right? And maybe it's the, the latest greatest, but it's not always necessarily as stable as we might like. This one is the long-term support one. This is sort of the most stable current version. And that's the one that we normally want. You see here, it says recommended for most users. You know, you're going to be tempted to get the latest one. Don't bother doing that. You just want the latest stable version, the long-term support version. So go ahead and click this to download. And I'm going to let you do that. Uh, you could save this and just run it like we did in the last video with the Sublime Text with the Git Bash Terminal. Same deal. There's nothing really to see. It will install right away. There's no options to select or anything. Now, chances are you already have Node on your computer because a lot of other programs use, use Node. Install it again anyway, just so that we have a sort of standard current version. Because sometimes when um, other programs install Node, they install a very old version. So you just, you want sort of the, the most current long-term support version. So go ahead and download this, even if you think you have Node on your computer already. And uh, it's just sort of a good idea to do that. So those are all the tools that we need. There's gonna be a couple other things we need to download on the back end later on, but we'll do that from the terminal. Uh, using npm the node package manager so we'll look at those when we need to but as far as actual tools we need this is it this is one of the great things about node it just sort of you know there's not much to it and it's really easy to use right out of the box without all kinds of other tools you know like ruby on rails you have to download and install ruby on rails it's a huge hassle uh, even django can be a little tricky setting up virtual environments and things node is just this easy so uh, in the next video, we will jump in and start working on our new project.